Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Latte Panda running Android 7.0. This is Android x86 Nougat. I actually got this from Geek Till It Hurts. Uh, he uploaded it on his website. I'll leave a link in the description. Dude is super smart. You need to go check him out. He does a lot of awesome work with Android x86, Raspberry Pi, Android, tons of single board stuff over there. The Latte Panda is a Windows 10 single board computer. Has an X5 Atom CPU, a Z8300, clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabyte onboard storage, one USB 3, two USB 2.0 ports, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SD card, and some GPIO headers for development. As you can see up at the top here, we actually have Wi-Fi working on the board, but Bluetooth will not turn on for some odd reason. We'll go into settings, about, now this is a very early build. It's a little unstable. I have run into a few problems where I downloaded Asphalt Airborne on the Play Store, went to install it, and my whole system crashed and I couldn't get it back up. I don't know if it was due to the application or not, but for some reason I tried it two times. Each time I downloaded that app and I got to about 22% download, the OS crashed on me. Very weird. But as you can see, this is really Android 7.0 x86. And I wanted to run 3D Mark Benchmark here. I will be doing a lot more testing on this operating system. I just installed it this morning and was messing around with it. Slingshot is the newest version, but to tell you the truth, it runs like crap on this board. So what we're gonna do is go to an older 3D Mark, 3D Mark Benchmark, Ice Storm Unlimited. I'm gonna run this and I will fast forward through this for you guys. Now I do have a fan on the Latte Panda right now. It's running from the five volt header that's on the board. I have it connected to the back so it's blowing directly on the CPU. Keep that thing cool because it does get hot. So we scored a 14,129. This is a quad core Intel CPU, x86, OS version 7.0. Graphics test 1, 69 FPS. I guess this is the max. I'm really surprised that it actually scored that high. I know it's not the best. We'll go to best devices and we can see that the NVIDIA Shield TV scores a... That's Slingshot. Let's go to... Filters. Sorry, trying to remember this here. And we were on Ice Storm Unlimited. So the Android Shield TV scores a 45,000, and we only scored a 14,000, which puts us in the range of... So we're actually down here with the iPhone 5S. I'm trying to find something that, you know, pretty much a lot of people have heard of. So the iPhone 5S scores a 14,700. iPad Mini with Retina, 14,000. So it's not stellar performance, but then again, we are running on a very unstable build. For kicks and giggles, what I'm going to do is run the other benchmark, the newer benchmark, and that is Slingshot, but we need to run Slingshot ES. We'll just run ES 3.1. So the NVIDIA Shield TV scores a 4,000. The Google Pixel C scores a 2,800. Benchmark. 3D Mark, and we're going to run Slingshot using ES 3.1 now. So with Slingshot ES 3.1, we only scored a 926. Now I do have a fan on the CPU, so it's not overheating. That's the performance that we're getting out of this build right now. The NVIDIA Shield TV console scored a 4,000. Let's see here, best devices. 4,000 here, if we scroll on down. We're going to be in the lower Motorola Moto X style. Zenfone, OnePlus 2, G3. We'll go down a little bit lower. So really, I mean, the performance isn't all that bad compared to some of these phones here. But this is an early build. And uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff is working. Bluetooth isn't. Wi-Fi is. The x86 Android Marshmallow build is a lot more stable for this board, but I don't get working Wi-Fi. 
Kind of weird that 7.0 does offer it for me. Play Store. I had opened it before I turned my Wi-Fi back on. Play Store does work, and I can download whatever I want through here, but some of these apps were crashing the unit. So I'm going to do some more testing with games. So I did try Cody, um, Cody Jarvis, the build that's on the Play Store, and I was able to run Big Buck Bunny at 60 FPS, 1080p, off of a USB stick with no trouble at all. Some of these apps were crashing the unit, like uh, Asphalt Airborne. I'm going to do more testing and see what works, what doesn't work. But for now, this is a very early build, and I just wanted to show you guys. One other thing, this may look a little different to you. I had to install Nova Launcher, because Launcher 3 that comes built in kept crashing on me. So I installed Nova Launcher, turned Launcher 3 off, and it works well. We do have multitasking. Double tap or hold? There we go. So this is not a split screen application here. I guess it kind of works, yeah. So I have the Play Store over here. I guess you could watch YouTube on one end and Netflix on the other. I mean, I don't know why you would want to do that, but who knows? Somebody may want to do that. I appreciate you guys watching. There will be more of this build coming. I just got to work on a couple little things with it. Make sure it doesn't crash in the next 24 hours. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I'm leaving a link in the description to the Latte Panda website. I will leave a link to Geek Till It Hurts' YouTube page and his webpage. You can go over there, check him out. Lots of awesome Raspberry Pi Android stuff. And he does a really good job with Android x86 builds. He does Android TV x86. The stuff just works, guys. Like always, thanks for watching.